If your C drive is full and you want to free up some space without deleting any files, games or programs, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use symbolic links using link shell extension software to free up the space on your windows pc's disk if you want to know more about what symbolic link is you can pause the video and read this now let's get started first you need to download this software you don't necessarily need to use this software but if you use this software it will be easy to use symbolic links this is the official website for link shell extension click on download and after that scroll down a little bit and download the link shell extension if you have a 64-bit windows pc then download it for 64 if you have old 32-bit windows then download it for 32-bit windows pc once you download and install this software go ahead and select any file or folder and right click on it and here you'll see a new option which says pick link source if you're wondering why my Windows 11's right-click menu looks so beautiful, then I also have the video on how to make your Windows 11 right-click menu better. You should also watch that video if you're interested. Now let me give you guys a demo how this thing works to create a symbolic links. Click on pick link source. Now click on empty space in your file explorer and then you'll see new options. Cancel link creation and drop as once i hover my mouse and drop as you can see we have a bunch of different options symbolic link junction and many other type of symbolic links so usually we want to use symbolic link and junction junction is for folders and if you're creating a symbolic link for a file let's say mp4 image file or any data file exe file then you should use the symbolic link now how to use this function to free up the space in your windows pc first you need a multiple drives or partitions so you can see i have multiple drives here i want to free up the windows c drive so i'm gonna go inside the windows c drive and here i can look for the large files or game files or program files just for this example i'm gonna go into the program files and in here uh, this is the example folder that i created and it is taking a seven gigabytes of storage in my c drive if this is a game file and if i move this to the different drive the game will not work but if we use symbolic link the game's files will stay in other drive but there will be a shortcut created so the operating system thinks that the game file is still there and game will function as usual now let's copy this game file and go to another drive and if you want to organize your stuff then you can create a folder called game or something like that just like i have here in my uh, other drive most of the things i actually moved from c drive to d drive just to save space in c drive so i like to keep my things organized so let's say i want to move that game file here so i'm gonna paste that game file here and take a look at this this is how much space is being used in c drive 68 gigabyte once we create a symbolic link for the game file it should reduce the storage by 7 gigabyte because the game file is 7 gigabyte now go back to your original games files location and delete that entire folder and remember some programs and games doesn't allow you to delete the folder so in that case you might not want to do that but trust me most of the programs folders can be deleted i'll show you some example after this so i'm gonna delete this game folder from the c drive now go back to the copied game file location which is in d drive for me I'm going to right click and this time we're going to click on pick link source. Now go back to the original location of that game folder and right click anywhere in empty space. And after that go to drop as option. Since this is a folder we have to drop it as a junction file. So let's click on junction. Now you can see the game file is back and we can even browse it but actually this game file isn't here uh, the original location is actually in d drive wherever you have saved it 
uh, if you right click properties and then go to link properties you can see this file's location is actually in d drive but the operating system can still read the original game folder source it basically thinks that games files are still there and your game will still run as usual now let's go back to c drive and i'm gonna right click and let's check the storage so last time you can see it was 68 gigabyte now it's only 59 gigabyte and i also cleaned up the uh, recycle bin because once you delete anything from the c drive it goes to the recycle bin and you have to clean up the recycle bin because the files stays there so you can see here we have successfully free up the almost seven gigabytes of storage and the game still runs uh, actually i can give you guys better example you know uh, i use google chrome browser maybe a lot of you guys also use it when you install it it doesn't ask where to install it it just gets installed in c drive so i actually moved it to d drive if you have created a symbolic link or junction link for folders or files there will be a new icon attached to that folder or file which looks like a chain icon and you can see uh, google folder has that chain icon which means the actual location of this folder isn't here so this is basically a junction link or a symbolic link if i right click properties link properties you can see its actual location is in d drive but the operating system still thinks that this is in c drive this is like a uh, shortcuts in your desktop you know there are shortcuts of your programs or games uh, they are not actual programs and games but when you click on them they actually open the programs from the wherever they are installed so this function works similarly to that and it doesn't take any space so basically i did the same thing with google chrome i copied entire folder and then created a junction link and now whenever i get new update or anything that happens to the google chrome it automatically goes to the d drive anything like files you put inside that folder will actually get stored into the actual location of that uh, junction folder or symbolic link folder so every time i get the new update for uh, example google chrome all the new updates goes automatically to the actual location the d drive you can also do the same thing with your downloads folders document folders and desktop folders you have to actually go to the c drive and then user and then your user name and inside here uh, I have already done all the things. I have already moved them to the different place and you can see there is a chain icon. So basically copy them to the wherever you want to store them and then create a symbolic link. So that way what happens is whenever you download anything from the internet it will automatically download to the downloads folder and we know that the download folder is actually in different place. Same thing goes for the other folders like documents you know some programs and games likes to store their files in documents folder and they will use the symbolic link document folder automatically or actually there is a even simpler method to move the documents and download folders to the different place uh, if you right click and then go to location here you can actually uh, click on move and then you can move uh, the folder to wherever you want but i just use the symbolic link much easier so yeah that's that this is how you use the symbolic link using link shell extension it's really simple and easy thanks to the link shell extension software uh, the actual way to use this is using a command prompt which is not user friendly that's why i just use the software it's a fantastic software and this is what I do to, you know, maintain my C drive. Plus, I'm using a Windows 11 and Windows 11 has a SSD bug where it gets really slow. So I don't want to store anything in C drives. So I just use the symbolic links to, you know, free up the C drive and just never touch the C drive. I always try to install programs and games to the D drive, but some programs doesn't even ask. So for those programs, I use this symbolic link but remember you can break the system if you try to do this with system files and folders 
and also some hardware components like NVIDIA graphic cards, folders, and files. Don't move them. Let them be there. All I'm trying to say here is that don't touch any system files and hardware files and folders programs. Don't touch them. Wherever you have manually downloaded and installed, yes, you can move them around. There might be some programs which doesn't allow you to move, but most of the programs do. Now, I want to show you guys one more thing. Uh, this is a software called Bleachbit. This is a completely free and open source program and a pretty good program to clean up uh, your PC. Even if you use symbolic links and move your programs and games to the different drive, the C drive will slowly fill up itself because the system will create cache and temporary files in C drive. So to clean that up, you can use Bleachbit or something similar software. So let's actually do a cleaning of my C drive using this and let's see how much space we can free up. I gained almost 500 megabytes of storage. Wow. So sometime like once a week or once a month, it's good to just run some type of cleaning program. I just like to use this. This is free and open source and works flawlessly. And uh, yeah, using this, you can delete the temporary files and caches that your operating system builds up. So yeah. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.